alongside Matt Lingerman. My name is Tyler King, and we are here to break down Penn State's 76-61 win over Jacksonville State. The Lions improved to 2-0 on the year, and Matt, Penn State had a poor night shooting the ball, obviously only shooting 10 of 32 from three-point range, but once again this season they have another player that can counteract some poor shooting woes in Lamar Stevens. The guy was 25, he had 22 on Friday against North Florida. So really he's just showing that no matter, even getting double teamed like he has been in these first two games, he's able to put up big numbers. He gets to the free throw line consistently. I think he was five of seven tonight. He did it from deep tonight too. He had made two three pointers, um, just came up with some big plays for this team. But another freshman comes up, makes some big plays for this team and that's Regier Bolton. Yeah, and obviously, you know, in losing Tony Carr, Penn State has a big, some big shoes to fill, and they're not going to be able to get that production out of the same player every night. What they need, though, is the Robin to the Batman that is Lamar Stevens. And tonight, Roger Bolton was that guy. He was 8 of 14 from the field, 4 of 8 from 3, and tied uh, with Lamar Stevens for a game-high 25 points. And he was a guy, not only did he look comfortable pulling up, he shot a few really deep threes and made them, but he was able, also able to drive and kick. Just a really good all-around game from Roger Bolton. And if you're going to get that production off the bench, uh, consistently throughout the season, Penn State's going to win a lot of basketball games. Yeah, Roger Bolton plays 30 minutes to Jamari Willers 21, and obviously I think with the way Jacksonville State was playing defense tonight, they like to pack it in, uh, so you needed Bolton out there to spread the floor, and I think that's with some of the lines you saw. I mean, Reeves had some foul trouble there in the first half, and they were able to counteract that with Miles Dredd and guys like Myrene Jones as well, so I think these freshmen have really stepped up, and they've had to grow up a little bit in these first two games. Penn State hasn't been playing that well offensively, but I mean, Bolton and Stevens, when they combine 50 points tonight, I think that's a recipe for success for the new Lions. I agree. And that'll do it from our coverage here from the Bryce Jordan Center tonight. Penn State improves the 2-0 on the year. They'll hit the road for the first time this year on Thursdays. They travel to Chicago to face DePaul. It's part of the Gavit tip-off game, so stay tuned for later on the week for our coverage.